to you. Morning or night? Morning? Nasi yeah. Brani or chicken rice? Nasi Brani. Dance or sing? Sing. Dog or cat? Dog. Hi everyone, my name is Shi Yi. I'm a chemical vapor deposition intern. This is a day of my life as an intern in Global Foundries. Come, follow me. The first thing that we do is to join the morning meeting with the process team and the equipment team so that we know what needs to be addressed for the day. Yes, the meeting has ended, so now we'll follow one of my colleagues for coffee break. So over here is the clean room and we'll be going into the clean room to do some job file matching which is to ensure that the data collected will be accurate. So before we go in, we'll have to smoke up. So let's go! I'm done my work in the clean room. Now, let's go and meet some of our mentors to learn more about Global Foundries. Let's go! Uh, hi everyone, today we have Mr. Hao and Ms. Sylvia, who's our Global Foundries mentor, to share with us more about the semiconductor industry. Hi, I'm Sylvia. I'm the lead for the Operations Training and Development, as well as the chairperson for the Singapore Global Women. Hi, Hao Chongping here. I'm the Director and Chief of Staff for Singapore Site. And it's our pleasure to meet up with our staff for the show today. Welcome. To get to know her a little bit more. Awesome. So Shri, you have been here for, what, about five months or so, right? So how would you describe the working culture here in GF? Personally, I feel that the working culture in Global Foundry is very encouraging and helpful. Um, in the sense that everyone is willing to help each other, no matter who and how they are. And, um, it, it was very fun working here because um, apart from work, we actually hang out like a group of friends even after work, like we go out for dinner and stuff like that. So Shi, would you like to tell us more about what's your one favourite thing that you miss the most? One favourite thing that I like most about this internship is that my supervisor actually assigned me um, daily tasks which allowed me to learn new things every day and also collaborate with people and colleagues from different departments which allowed me to network and get to know more people. And through that, um, by knowing more people, I also get to uh, talk to them and then um, get advice from them and also um, listen to what they can share with me, which is also part of the learning process. So currently, we have a new fab coming up. So, um, what's the difference between the new fab and our current Giga fab? And what is so special about the new fab? Well, I think firstly, Giga fab is an older 200 mm fab, uh, and the Giga fab uh, was built over several years from mid 90s to end of 90s. Uh, and they make they manufacture 200 mm wafers, right? 200 mm is actually the size of the wafer, the diameter of the wafer. Uh, for FAP7, uh, it's a more advanced FAP. They make larger size wafer, 300 mm diameter, so it's roughly the size of a pizza. And being a, a newer FAP, uh, which is built in 2004, FAP7 has the latest uh, advanced automation. So if you go into a FAP7 uh, as opposed to Giga you will see that all the machines are very automated. Uh, in fact, uh, one of the f impressions when, when people go into FAB7 is that, hey, where are all the people? Because it's all, you know, you can see all the wafers being uh, uh, moved around uh, using the automated material handling system. And it's much more faster in terms of a production line. And as you mentioned, uh, 7H uh, that's being constructed, uh, as, as you see out the window, uh, we are actually building a brand new uh, uh, fab that's going to be online uh, by early two th 2023 
uh, that's going to bring uh, uh, roughly 50% more capacity to the whole site. And I think with the new fab coming up, there's a lot of opportunity, of course, you know, to uh, attract new talents. And likewise, even for the employees who are currently uh, working, say, in GigaFab or in Fab7, there's also opportunity for them to move around. Yeah. Mr. Hao and Ms. Sylvia, do you guys have any advice that you would like to give to those uh, who are interested in the semiconductor industry? Well, I think um, semiconductor touches everyone's lives uh, without us knowing it. So a, a lot of times when people ask about semiconductor, the best way to introduce semiconductor to them is really the, all the devices that we see around us. And everyone has a handphone. Uh, we pick, take public transport like a car. There are chips also made by uh, global foundries. So I would say the, the main thing about joining the industry is that you have to have an interest to find out more about the, interest in, uh, the industry and how it impacts the world. And I would say currently you can already see so many mega trends that's happening in the world, such as uh, uh, mobile devices, IoT, AI, 5G, and autonomous driving, and also electric vehicles. So there's many ways that uh, we can link what we do in the semiconductor industry and how it impacts and changes the world. For me, I think, you know, just uh, come in with an open mind because a lot of people always feel that, oh, I need to be, you know, in this or in that kind of industry. Uh, but there's really a lot of things that we are actually doing here which really impacts uh, the life of the others. And I say, just come in to uh, embrace, you know, uh, because we never stop learning. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Hao and Miss Sylvia for joining us today. Oh, you're most welcome, Sui. And we'd like to encourage you if you'd like to find out more about Global Foundries, follow us on our Instagram account. Or follow us on Facebook. For more opportunities, scan the QR code over here. Bye! Bye. Bye. Thank you for joining me in a day of my life as an intern at Global Foundries. Now, let us take a final peek at Global Foundries' growing impact within the semiconductor industry. Signing out! <laughs>